Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Even after bailouts and levies, Greece and Cyprus may be forced to exit the euro. Romania abandons target date for joining the euro. New car sales and registrations fell by 10% in the last year. New reports in our legislation section as the EU strives for fishing rights in Mauritius. Plus, new EU directives in regard to abolishing all asbestos. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, it beggars belief that the Euro Bureau kleptocrats are still trying to blag their way through the economic collapse. After thieving the money of the Cypriots and more attempted Greek bailouts than an engine stoker with a colander on the Titanic, it still isn't enough. This article reports on the escalating crisis in southern Europe's nations, Cyprus and Greece, as Citigroup predicts impending EMU exit. Further turmoil for Romania as the democratically maladjusted nation plays politic with the Politburo. This story considers the difficulties that Romania faces as it attempts to gear its economy to match that of the Eurozone. Romanian authorities have repeatedly missed targets agreed on with the International Monetary Fund and the EU on appointing professional managers and privatising state-owned companies. Here again we see the long arm of the IMF using political leverage to squeeze the final dregs of democratic freedom from another nation in preparation for its assimilation. There seems to be no limit to the ignorance of mainstream media when it comes to telling the folks in Europe the truth about the state of affairs. This article highlights the massive drop in car sales throughout the Eurozone over the last year. So what would be the trigger for people to say enough? 50% unemployment as an EU block average? Because we reported last week it's already reached 42.5%, higher than even the Great Depression of the 1930s. The seizure of national assets by the state to pay its debts? Don't think it can happen. Go and read up in your history in Romania in the last 50 years. It's time to speak out, folks, because these Bruswellian buffoons are not going to stop themselves. We reported earlier in the year about the bully boy tactics being used by the EU to drive through fishing rights in the waters off the coast of Western Sahara. Well, it seems that quietly the kleptocrat ministers in Mordor are seeking fishing rights even further afield. This report in our legislation section picks out the key objectives for this proposal in regard to agreeing EU fishing in the waters of the Indian Ocean just off the coast of Mauritius. Those key points being reasonable economic settlement, methods for conservation and sustainable exploitation of the relevant fish stocks, adequate support and sufficient conditions for the local fishing sector. I think it's fair to say that the EU have hardly demonstrated a deep understanding of how to manage fisheries and protect the industry. Your Honour, I cite the UK fishing industry as evidence. Understanding some of the issues surrounding the health hazards that asbestos presents, this latest raft of EU legislation is very concerning on a number of levels. The legislation adopted in January put forward the case for active management of asbestos, which in reality means the total removal in all cases. This presents a big and expensive challenge. The policy adopted in the UK has been to leave asbestos in place, undisturbed, with a management plan and its location detailed, identified and registered. Removal of asbestos is difficult and expensive and hard to do safely as each site needs essentially to be cordoned off into a sealed environment. This proposal will require councils to register and potentially remove and dispose of all asbestos sites. This will result in enormous expense along with increased health and environmental risks. Today in our video library 
the international corporate vultures are circling Greece as the puppet government gets gimped whipped by the Troika Nazgul of Mordor into pitchforking more of the citizens of Greece into the firehouse of bankster austerity. The international global corporate machine is ramping up to pick at the carcass. Today's video reports on the Greek people being faced down by the paramilitary goons of the state as Canadian mining companies seek to bring in the diggers, dynamite, cyanide and mercury and napalm this idyllic Greek community for a few dollars more. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the EUnit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Join us in our live Question Time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+. Links to the community page are below. <laughs>